so last week we um, released our salary guide, which has had amazing traction. Um, thank you so much for everybody that's downloaded and had a look at it. The reason we are, we do the salary guide, um, it's more a guide than a survey, is really just to assist, obviously, our market, which are candidates and clients. Um, sometimes people look at it going, oh, I want to see what my salary is. I think it's broader than that. I've had clients reach out and just, um, so from a client perspective, yes, it's good to benchmark your, your salary and see how it fits in, not just in the industry that you're working in and the role that you have, but also nationally, because we did it across all the states in Australia. Um, but it's also really relevant when you're looking to recruit people and when you're looking to build the team and looking at, okay, so what will it cost in terms of budgeting and just having a broader view of specific roles within different areas. We currently have a client that's re recruiting for a Brisbane, for a role that then can be Brisbane based and Sydney based. And we had this conversation with them yesterday to say, well, the salary that you have in mind for this position, very spot on for Brisbane, maybe a little bit low for Sydney. So just really interesting um, that it's got multiple uses. It's not just benchmarking your own salary against um, where the national the national average really sits with within the um, the different the different roles. But even just I know me just sticky beaking. It's yes. <laughs> very interesting to just sticky beak and see what the like the other roles and what. I guess what opportunities and career development is out there because the way that we've laid it out is you're going kind of up the ladder yes. in terms of how it's laid out and also just seeing what's available that you didn't know of. Yes, correct. That That's a really, really interesting um, um, assessment on that. In terms of can, um, clients looking at the salary guide, it's also a benchmark potentially for your internal candidates that already work for you mm -hmm. just to see where they're sitting where where are you as an organization paying your employees um, and money like we've always said money is not the only thing but if everybody has access to view the salary guide and they are being paid quite a bit below where the market is sitting then you of course, as it's a natural, They're gonna natural question. you're going to start looking around, start questioning. So it's um, we have clients that will ask us that information is, can you can you just have a look at where the salaries for these different positions? Because I'm paying my guys. I think I'm paying their market rates, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So mm -hmm. it's um, it's a good way to to also benchmark your internal your internal yep. teams and your internal salaries. It's not an exact science because there's a whole bunch of other stuff that is really important. It's not just money, but money is it's, pretty important. Um, a lot of people make a decision based on salary. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty important for that. Yeah, and also as a client too, if you are going into a stage where you're offering um, pay rises and yes. you're not too sure what the market's doing or yeah. you know the growth of the market too you can <clears> benchmark <throat> those <throat> against that so I we realize that you know there's been around a four percent increase across the board basically so then that can kind of give you that I don't know insight to be like yes. okay well let's maybe do a four percent increase and then see where they land on the salary yes. guide yeah as absolutely. well so good absolutely. for yeah the future budgeting setting the business up for success and knowing that you're up for that cost as well correct being being a little bit proactive yeah the other thing that's been really important um really interesting that we saw from the salary guide is that um, in the past, people that have worked in remote areas, um, normally their salaries have been lower than in the cities, in the major um, major area where most people would be working. That's actually changed. Um, and I think that's changed because of remote working and the fact that people are allowed, ha have the ability now to not have to work 
in Brisbane, in Sydney, in the CBD. They can work away from this the um the major yeah. CBD, but still earn a CBD salary, or work in the Sunshine Coast for a Sydney-based company and earn mm-hmm. a Sydney-based salary. Yeah. So that's definitely changed the dynamic in terms of what we normally saw remote work as being, oh, you're going to be working remote in a small area, you'll earn less. Um, yeah. That is not a equals anymore. Yeah. People in regional areas are getting city city wages correct yes which i mean it makes sense yes because cost of living in the regional everywhere. cities and towns everywhere is a lot less yeah. so if you can do it why not absolutely the salaries of yeah that that was really interesting i did not expect i did not expect the level mm. that it would be equal or sometimes even a bit higher i did not expect yeah. that so that that was a really interesting thing and maybe for employers just to have a look at um even if candidates work remotely and go into the office two or three days a week, they still they're still seen as working remotely um, yep. most of the week. So that was an interesting that and that there's just been an increase in salaries, um, yeah, which is in general. brilliant for candidates. Um, brilliant when you're having that next conversation about salary reviews. Um, mm-hmm. But also very relevant for clients when they're doing their their reviews and planning for salaries. Um, it's a big expense. Um, yeah. Probably the biggest expense for any organisation is their salaries. Hundred percent. But if you get the right team members, yes, exactly. If you can build <laughs> the right team and you can build yep. the right people around it, um, I mean, it's not throwing caution to the wind. But mm-hmm. we've had organisations that are prepared to pay a little bit more to get in the right person. Yeah so that they can make sure that the team dynamics work. There's collaboration within the teams. They've got the right people on board. Mm -hmm. And in the longer term, it probably pays off more than having – There's definitely a cost involved in having the wrong person in a role. What's that um, saying? And I don't know if it's 100% 100 relevant to this, but, again, another saying from me, poor men pays twice. yes. So if you put the wrong people in place at the beginning, you have to do that process all again. So if you can get it right the first time, that way you've got sort of your longevity, you've got people who are invested in the company as as well as the company being invested in them. So they're going to give you that longevity as well. Absolutely. And the same conversation we had with this client yesterday that's looking for the same same role in Brisbane and Sydney. we asked the question if there's a bit of negotiation on the salary. The mm. answer to that was probably no, which is fine because that's the parameters that we have to work in. But that's also then part of what we do as a consultancy is to then go back to let the client know and that's what we've said to them is give us a day or two. We'll go into the market. We'll find out what the rates are, the salaries are across Brisbane and Sydney, and then come back to you um, and advise and consult to say, well, this is what we're finding in the market at the moment Um, because that's the market at the moment that you're buying into. So that's Mm -hmm. what the playing field looks like. So that's our job is to consult, to advise, but then really to go into the market and start talking to people. Yeah. um, to have a good understanding of exactly what we're finding. And you might be looking at a person to pay at this level, but you won't be finding a person at this level. You might have to look at lesser skills, lesser experience yep. for that money. Um, or change the location that you're looking location to. So yes, in yes. Sydney, you might get someone who's a little less, like who's a little lower down the scale than to Correct. somebody who's in Brisbane that's a little higher, but they... They're both at the same salary. So it just depends on at what location and at what level. Correct. And then within all of that, when we Mm. speak to candidates, we have the salary conversation because it's no use speaking to a candidate that's looking for $20,000 more than what the role is offering. But if they're looking for $5,000 more than what the role is offering, the conversation then comes from our side to go, Mm -hmm. okay, so apart from money, culture, what is working it? from home, mm-hmm. allowance, autonomy, what else are you looking for with bonus structure? Exactly. 
what else are you looking for within this package deal when you do join an organization? Um, and then that conversation becomes more than just the money. It becomes mm. about the role, your career progression, your opportunities, your career growth. Um, yeah. But that's, that's our job. That's part of how we have the conversations. And then try and identify the right people at the right salary, in the right location, that are available at the right time. I know. But recruitment is 100% timing. That's just what it is always. So that's it. That's the salary guide. Um, It's a privilege for us to be able to put that forward to the market. Um, And we wanted to just talk through it from a client perspective that it's not just benchmark your salary. It's it's a bigger document than that. And we're there to help. Again, it's a guide. It's not an exact science. Um, It does change quite a bit um, Mm. from year to year, like we've just said. So reach out, have a conversation. If you see something interesting or if you wanted to um, talk about your team or your salaries or budgets, we're very happy to help. Yeah, use it for planning as well. Yeah, the planning side. Absolutely. And we can help with that too. Yes. (laughs) 